Hi, this is Alexandra Chini with The Wall Street Journal, and I'm here today with Simon Helberg, who plays Howard Wolowitz on The Big Bang Theory. In a couple of weeks, Stephen Hawking's team is sending an expedition to the North Sea to test hydrodynamic simulations of black holes. Simon, hello. Oh, hello. The season finale of The Big Bang Theory is coming up. Over the course of the season, you have been forced to grow up. Yes. You started the season living with your mother. Oh, yeah. And you've moved into an apartment with your wife. Mostly. Mostly. Yeah. And uh, you have become kind of this sage advisor. Kuthra Pali, one of your cast members, is seeking advice. How does that change in your life, change your character? Well, I mean, yeah, he's spent uh, basically five seasons uh, as a stunted man. Um, he's still stunted, but, uh, but he certainly turned over a new leaf. He was kind of a failed Lothario, and uh, he found the one, not just the one, but the one girl that would tolerate him, essentially. So um, he, has, uh, he has decided to, uh, to settle down-ish, because he's still got a foot in the door at his mom's, probably more than a few pairs of underwear and a few dickies. And, um, so yeah, now it's, it's, in some way, he's done a bit of a, a 180. Um, who would have thought that that, that guy would, would uh, be the most successful in love? Um, so yeah, it kind of, it was a shocker, I think, to, to all. One of the things that changed, I think, most noticeably was your humor. You were a lot more candid and open, I think, prior to Bernadette. She's, she's calmed you down a little bit. What does that mean for Howard? She, Bernadette has definitely grounded him a bit, but um, he's, he's, he's not growing up anytime soon. He's still pretty he's still learning now he has to just learn a whole new set of rules which is about marriage and I mean these are all little boys that kind of take baby steps and granted he did go probably the furthest uh, he took the most baby steps still certainly all the fun of, of that character is is still there it's just we've opened up different doors well and this series is really all about boys being boys you know but you are even though you're still a boy you quickly are kind of turning into the man of the rela of the of the boys. Yeah, scary. How is that straining your relationship with the boys? Well, I mean, I, I think you've seen a little bit of it with um, Kuthra Pali. Their, their bromance has sort of taken a back seat to Howard's marriage. Um, but it still seems like Bernadette knows the priorities. She knows that there will be D&D &D nights and Halo nights and, uh, you know, Howard still I think he's trying to, I think that's what is being managed slowly. You saw him spend thousands of dollars on a 3D printer to make toy models of himself and her, and it was her money that he spent, but he thought they shared it. And so, I mean, there, there's some strain, but uh, again, I think it actually opens the door for more um, comedy as opposed to kind of changing the dynamic so drastically that it becomes a different show or something like that. What is your advice for Leonard and Penny as we kind of go into the finale there? As you were spotlit last year going into space, they are really spotlit this year. As you and Bernadette had, you know, several months apart, what would your advice be for them <laughs> who are going to be apart for months on it? Yeah, um, that, that is, it is gearing up to look like that. So, so yeah, I think uh, they, I mean, you know, Howard, when he was in space, couldn't quite escape his problems. Uh, his mother followed him to space via Skype, basically, um, you know, and he kind of ran away from dealing with that stuff. So, I mean, uh, I don't know what the reception is like out on the North Sea, but <clears throat> I'm, I'm sure that Leonard and Penny will, will be communicating and, you know, any, anything they, they, they've been doing well, though. I, I don't know if... Uh, they haven't, they've kind of caught up, so I, I would say I just hope that they uh, communicate enough um, uh, and maybe, you know, that, that Leonard can stay out of the arms of, of his captain or, or, or whoever, whatever temptations are out there. If you could have scripted any scene or if you could script any scene for Howard, what would, what would you make him do? I mean, I'm interested to see where the dynamic with his with his father um, will 
will take us, uh, you know, whether he'll get to meet him at any point or whether the father will try to contact him again. Um, that interests me a lot. I think lastly, what do you think just as a human being, not necessarily well, as Howard, thank but you, first of all, for as a human being, referring to me as a human, that are the more human elements of the show that have resonated across such a wide audience? Because I think there are certain things in the show, mm. like people may not know what DDR is. Right. I don't either. <laughs> um, I mean, I think that these are, they're very grounded characters. You know, there are moments that are larger than life for them. Their outfits occasionally are larger than life, but they're very, we try to play them very real. Um, I think they're written very real. And I, I think that it really is a story about these underdogs, you know, not having a, a manual uh, for life, trying to figure out how to fit in, being geniuses in one area and completely inept in another. I think people can relate to that. Well, Simon, thank you for coming by the Wall Street Journal. Thank you. For the Wall Street Journal, this is Alexandra Cheney.